This first lecture will go over an introduction to the graphic communications course. So with this lecture we're going to look at the different areas and aspects of what is graphic communication. So to start we think about a definition for communication. And a basic definition we can use is communication is the sending and receiving of information. It's important to note that both have to occur, that the information has to be sent and received. For example, if I am speaking to you in Chinese, I might be sending you information, but if you don't know Chinese, you're not receiving it, and therefore communication is not occurring. And that's why both are needed. Then on the other hand, we have graphic, and a definition, simple definition, could be a visual presentation on a surface. Uh, this could be a drawing, illustration, photograph, or any one of the variety of examples that you see there. So the key there is that it's some type of visual presentation on a surface. And that surface could be on a t-shirt, it could be on a graphic on a piece of paper, it could be on a billboard, it could be on a computer, on, on a screen, um, on a website, all kinds of different places where we can uh, visually communicate uh, on a particular surface. And so when we combine the two together, what we have as a basic definition for graphic communication is the exchange of information in a visual form. And this is important for you to think about as for your future career. This is a different area than graphic design. This course isn't uh, created uh, for those students who are taking graphic design or even specifically for students who are taking a, as a communication course or a communication major. It's really a blend between the two, uh, which makes it applicable for really all students because in any career, in any job, in any industry, there's going to be some type of graphic communication occurring. And so uh, whether the company is designing a new business card or they're coming up with a new commercial or a website uh, or new, new t-shirt design whatever it might be uh, that company is going to be communicating graphically and you may or may not be involved in the design process but it, you certainly may be involved in the review process and that's where it's helpful to know about graphic communication know about the different design elements that make a good design uh, and then you maybe have the opportunity to be a part of that design process and come up with the design yourself uh, so this particular course is designed for uh, students that are in a variety of different industries, uh, going in a variety of different places, and it's designed to give the student access and um, information, training, and some skills, most importantly knowledge and skills in the areas of graphic communication. So what are the different ways that graphic communication occurs out there in industry? What are the different means to create, produce, and how are these spread around in the different business industry? So that's what we're going to look at in this course. So here's an example here. And fairly immediately when you see this, uh, if you, you would think that the Nike sign. And uh, it's a very simple design. In this case, it's just black and white. Uh, but very quickly and instantly, almost a thought comes into your head or uh, you have a knowledge, a prior knowledge of what this means. The same might be true here. When you see this, you think McDonald's uh, because you know it's a piece of graphic communication uh, that communicates uh, for the restaurant McDonald's. Here we have an E with a circle around it, which uh, is the icon for Internet Explorer. Another example here, this is the logo for NBC, the news network. And another one here, this is AT&T. Here's another example here, and this is certainly not a worldwide known logo like you might have with NBC or uh, AT&T, uh, but if you're in the Hayes, Kansas area, this might be familiar possibly, uh, though there probably be several people uh, in Hayes that may not know it as well, uh, but this happens to be the logo, the graphic for Glassman Corporation, which is a heating and air conditioning company uh, in Hayes, Kansas, but serves all of Western Kansas. Here's another example here. Um, again, this is a localized piece of graphic communication, and uh, this happens to be the logo for the Heartland Building Center uh, in Hayes, Kansas. This is the lumber yard um, in Hayes. And so if you're familiar with that, the building industry, you may recognize it, uh, but if not, likely not. So we have 
large, huge companies that are developing graphics all the way down to very small companies that are developing graphics. And this is why I said earlier that a graphic communication is important for any particular student, anybody going into any workforce, because in one way or another, uh, that company is going to be communicating graphically, and it's important to know the effective strategies for doing that communication. Now, I just want to take a second here and, and do an example and switch from what you see here with the Heartland logo uh, to the AT&T logo. And not, not to speak anything uh, bad about Heartland, uh, but when you look at the logo there, you can certainly see a difference. Now, keeping in mind that AT&T has its own graphic design uh, department and communication department, university relation, or it's not university, excuse me, a relations department uh, that, that deals with this, whereas a small uh, company like Heartland Building Center doesn't necessarily have that. Uh, but my point here in, in kind of comparing these two back and forth is that my goal in the course, our goal in this course is to uh, help you develop uh, a good eye for design in that when you are creating your graphic, uh, even if you are a very small company, that you are coming up and developing uh, very high quality and professional designs uh, because that speaks well of your company and uh, many cases that is the first thing that people see when they think of your company uh, or they see your logo uh, that, that they think about of you. And so, um, you know, in this particular example here, we see an image taken from the web that's very pixelated and uh, maybe not as high quality and we'll learn about those things in this course and we, what I want to do is take you from being able to maybe come up with something uh, simple and a little lower quality like you see here uh, to something that's high quality unique and has great brand recognition for your future company. We also have an example here. Uh, this is a rendering of a structure uh, used by an architecture or engineering company, uh, possibly as part of doing the bid process uh, for this particular structure. So this is another example of being able to communicate graphically about what this future building might look like. So if this particular architecture firm is putting out a bid for this structure, or they're trying to get the bid for this structure, uh, it is well worth their time to develop a mock-up like you see here. Uh, that way they can show the client, if we get this job, this is what it's gonna look like. And this is used heavily uh, in that industry now to be able to get jobs, and that's incredibly important. So being able to know how to use the software, know how to use technology, know how to use design uh, can certainly increase the success of a particular company. Another example here, uh, certainly with the explosion of the internet, uh, there are, we graphically communicate through the web now. And you know, here's an example of a, a fairly poor website, a, a weak design. Uh, this happens to be an art center, uh, but it's very, it's not very artistic. Certainly, uh, you know, we really have some clashing colors going on, some really kind of bland colors. Uh, the, the size of the page is hard to read. Uh, the letters, the links on the left and the text on the left is pretty hard to read. Uh, so, you know, it's an example. Yes, they have a website and that's good, uh, but it's not a very well designed website. As, you, as compared to something like this, uh, here you can see it's a very clean, a well designed, high quality images, good colors, uh, good design web page here. So, you know, again, part of the goal in the class is to take you from doing something like this, which you might be able to do in some simple software that you may have on your computer right now, uh, to be able to developing a well-designed uh, looking web, uh, website that you can use uh, for your company going in the future. So that's a quick overview for the class and looking at what, what does graphic communication mean and uh, how we can use it and how it applies to you and your f future success uh, in whatever variety of industries you might be going into. Uh, so that's just a, a quick look at what we're going to be doing this semester and we'll continue on uh, with the course.